£59. £59! This velour jumpsuit, right, picks up fluff. I can't explain to you. Can you even see that? It's got holes in it, it's got fluff all over it, and I'm still wearing it. I'm in one of those days where I just want to be in a jumpsuit and just not have to put together an outfit. Do you know what I mean? Hello, honeys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then I am very excited because we have a Boots and Super Drug haul. I haven't done one of these for ages. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join my family of huns because we have some good content coming your way. I'm bringing back the old school content. I want to do some testing videos. I want to do some hauls. I just want to do what I feel like I've been made to do. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Just ignore me. I just genuinely feel like I've been put on this planet to do YouTube, but just ignore me. Anyway, my name's Imogen, if I didn't say that already, but make sure you subscribe. Let's get in with the Boots and Super Drunk haul. A lot of stuff. When I mean a lot, this isn't even the full amount. It's all laid in front of me. Because I need to tell you just quickly, can you actually just see all that in there? That is just MUA stuff from Superdrug. So I want to do an MUA testing makeup tutorial. Not tutorial. I want to do an MUA testing makeup video because it's so cheap. And I've never done a video just testing MUA makeup. So let me know down below or give this video a massive thumbs up so I know that you want me to do that because I've got all the stuff. I spent quite a bit of money and I bought a lot. Let's start with Superdrug first because your baby girl went and got some bit. I've got swatches in this video. I have some really good products, I think. So let's start first. Now this is the Baked Tri-Blend Highlighter from Barry M. This is in the colour Bronze Deco. Wear shades individually or mix them together as a beautifully highlighted complexion. There are so many different shades in here and when I swatched this, I can't explain it to you how pigmented this is. Like it is a joke pigmented. Now, does anyone get the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter, I think it was called? It was just too gold for my skin tone, but I really wanted a gold highlight. And I struggled to find like a really gold highlight that isn't yellow. This is gold. I haven't actually tried it on my face yet because basically I've got a lot of products here which are new really exciting obviously this is a boots and super drug haul but this is all stuff from the drugstore which i've never tried before in the hopes that maybe you want me to do a testing drugstore makeup video which is really exciting for me when i was just putting on my makeup then i was like i want to use that highlight but i haven't so if you want me to use this then let me know probably get the prices that would actually help everyone wouldn't it so that one was no it can't be no definitely can't no, it wasn't. That one was £6.49. So £6.49 for a very pigmented highlight. Loads of different colours in it. So you can actually just use the lighter gold shade. You could use the darker champagne shade. So actually, you've got like six highlighters in one. So I can't wait to try that one. Then your baby girl went and got some lipsticks, which I'm super excited about. I love Kate by Rimmel London. Kate Moss's collection I really, really, really love. So I got these two colours, which is the number 43 and 45. The number 43 is like a very browny nude but with a slight undertone of pink they're satiny lipsticks which i really like i really like lipsticks i don't know about anyone else but i don't really like super matte lips because i have dry lips anyway and i just feel like some of them are amazing but i struggle to find really good matte liquid lipsticks i just like lipsticks really these ones were both five pound 49 each and then i also have the color 45 again i love the fact that they're satin so they have this really nice sheen to them which isn't going to make your lips just look a little bit flat and sometimes they dry out a lot i will just talk for myself here but i do find that matte lips just really make my lips matte which is a good thing i know but i do really like a satin vibe and i know a lot of people don't really like that but i really do so this 45 is more of a rosy colored matte lip so it is a nude again we love the nudes but it has more of a rosy pinky shade to it which i vibe off i love that color because i just feel like when you have blush and then you put on like a pinky lip color it just looks really nice. I don't have any of these lipsticks on right now because I really do want to test them and I want to do like a first impressions. I feel like sometimes you test makeup before you do first impressions. It doesn't really make it a first impression, obviously. So we want to keep it first impressions. So I do really like these lipsticks. They are so, so soft on your lips. They feel like you're not wearing anything, but you still get a really pigmented color. So Rimmel London. I love you. I've not got these colors, so I'm super excited to try them. Yay! The next little puppies that I got. Why did I just call them puppies? Am I right? They're not puppies. Stop. The next thing I got was Barry M. And I got two lip liners from them because they've got different packaging. They're all black. And I love it. I really do vibe off it. They've definitely changed their packaging. Unless this is 
been around for a while and Imogen's just completely out of the loop. But anyway, these lip liners have always been a favourite of mine. However, I haven't got these colours, so maybe they are new. These ones were £2.99 each. Can you imagine? £2.99 for a lip liner. Absolutely love it. So we've got the colour here, which is rose. So rose is very lovely and it does what it says on the packaging. It is a rose colour. It is really nice. I love the formulation of the Barry M liners. I just think they're so soft and nice on your lips. I love a lip liner. I'm just going to throw this one out there. I like a lip liner all over my lips and like a little bit of like a Lano lips or like something soft over the top. And that's me good to go. I just love a lip liner. I feel like anything I wear on my lips needs a lip liner. I can't just go out of the house wearing a lipstick. I need a lip liner underneath there. Like even with a red lip. A bold red lip. I need a lip liner to just, you know, overline those lips and love your life. So then the next colour I have is the colour blush. And this is a really soft nude. This is a brownie nude. The rose colour is darker, but I really do like the soft nude. I can't wait to try these colours out. I've never tried them, so I'm really, really excited. I love getting new lip liners. It is probably my favourite thing ever. If I could have one thing that I take away with me, it'd be a lip liner. Everyone's like, oh, it'd be like mascara, or I'd have my brows on because then I feel more awake. I'm like, no. When I wear a lip liner, I don't care if my eyelashes look bald. I need a lip liner. <laughs> then, I'm so excited for this. I struggle so much not to try this because this is like, I feel like this is gonna be the one. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Everyone has been raving about it. Every single I, IG, I was just about to call it, am I all right? Every single Instagram video I've seen has been using this. Now, Imogen needs to use it. I got it in the color light beige, but look at this applicator. Like this applicator is that big dough thin, is it? Dough, dough applicator, DOE, I, I think. I don't know, just ignore me. But this concealer was five pounds. You get a lot in there, actually. It is quite a large amount of what you get. Yeah, I got it in the light beige color. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for my skin tone because it's got yellowy undertones, but they have so many different colors. Like they had so many different variations of this concealer. I was really impressed. I was like, well done, Huns. Because there's so many different undertones of skins that, you know, some people have rose color, some people have a yellow tone, some people have like a neutral tone. There are so many different tones for skin colors. So 16 hours is a massive thing to say that it lasts for 16 hours. I would like to try this concealer out, first impressions with my hands again, to really see that. But from swatching it, it does feel very full coverage, but also lightweight on the skin. It really does dry very nicely. It has kind of a dewy skin, but also a matte appeal to it. So I'm really vibing off that. I really want, really, really, really want to try that. So let your baby go know if you want her to try it. I feel like I'm just going to wipe my poor hand is going to be so dry. I'm just constantly swatching everything on this one hand. Then, very excited. When I mean very excited, very excited. I got this. I am actually so excited about this. Like, I bought this two days ago, this whole haul. And I'm like, you know when you just pick something out of the bag and you're like, I can't believe I got this. Anyway, so this is the Maybelline New York. Oh, Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Okay, stop. Maybe she's born with it. Oh, I'm so annoying. So this is the Cole Eyeliner in the colour number 210. I feel like it should have a name. Matita Oki? It says Matita Oki, but we're just gonna ignore that. It's the color 210, and it is divine. Now, if anyone's an OG, then you'll know that I love like a blue or a green on my under eye. So when I do like a nice makeup look on my eyes, I'll do like a nice pop of color underneath, or I'll do it in the inner corner. This eyeliner feels so soft to the point where I could blend it out as a nice eyeshadow. I like eyeliners when they are blendable. I don't like them when they feel like you've put it on and you can't maneuver it. I like to be able to smudge it out. This color is so nice. They have so many different colors as well. I feel like, where do you get bright liners from? Because I know that Makeup Forever do them and they're really, really nice. However, they are quite expensive. And this one was £2.99. £2.99, she charged me twice for it. She did actually charge me twice. Maybelline Cole Eyeliner, £2.99. Maybelline Cole Eyeliner, £2.99. It wasn't actually her either. It was a really nice guy. Michael, he was so sweet. I picked up a couple of testers and he went and got me new ones. And I was like, no, I'll go get it. And he was like, no, I'll do it. He was so, so nice. We love Michael. So £2.99 loss. I hope Michael gets the £2.99. He's probably not going to, but let's just pretend he does. But this eyeliner is such a nice color. It's only £2.99, so I want to get so many different ones. I want a green. I want a purple. I want a pink. I just want it all. I want it. I want it. The fame and the fortune and more. I want it all. I got it. Is that it? No, I got it all. Anyway, that was from High School Musical, Baby Honeys. Does anyone love High School Musical? Because that was my jam. Like, that was my thing. I hated Sharpe, but loved that song. If no one knows what I'm talking about, I'm really sorry. I love you all so much. On to the next product. So then I got this from Maybelline again. Is it Maybelline? 
yeah the maybelline color 24 hour tattoo so this is in the color 35 on and on bronze this looks beautiful and i was thinking of using this as basically i have those mac paint pots they're expensive but they are amazing and i love using them as a base for my eyeshadow i like to layer eyeshadow on top of them so i got this one and this is wonderful i have actually tried these in the past and they are really good dupes for the paint pots and this is a wonderful bronzy color which shimmers so many different colors in the light it is beautiful i am obsessed i can't wait to use this i would even use this as a smoky liner i would even use this underneath my eyes and smoke it and blend it out or use this as a base for eyeshadow how much was this six pound 99 apparently hun so six pound 99 very very excited with this one have i got that wrong no i think it is six pound 99 no it's not it's five pound 99 you just saved a pound you didn't even know it but you actually just saved a pound you didn't but doesn't matter anyway so exciting can't wait to use this because the paint pots are expensive aren't they they're like 20 pounds 22 pound 50 anyway five pound 99 buzzing then the next two products are skincare they were on offer actually it was two for or buy one get the cheapest free or something like that i feel like it was so this one was two pound 99 this one was two pound 99 this is the vitamin e facial oil and this is the vitamin e intense moisturizer cream so the facial oil Vitamin E. The Kardashians soak their face in it. We need to soak our face in it. I mean, I'm, I'm not striving to be anything like the Kardashians. I'm just saying that their skin is always popping. I know they get a lot of, you know, skin facial situations go on. They go to the salon and spas probably like every day of their lives, which they're very lucky for. However, we're going to be doing this the super drug way. We're doing it drugstore way, angel faces. So this is the vitamin E facial oil, rich in natural vitamin E, high in antioxidants, and defends the skin against environmental damage. Apparently vitamin E is amazing. So what I normally do with this oil is I literally sleep with it on. I bathe my face in vitamin E oil and my face wakes up and I'm like, wow, my skin really did need that vitamin E. It is so soft. It's lightweight again, so it's not going to be really heavy on your skin. So for people that don't like oil, I get it. But I use this oil for everything. Like if anything dries out in my makeup collection, I'm like, put a bit of oil and just whirl it around. And your pomade, your brow pomades are back to normal with a little bit of oil. Then angels, we have the vitamin E intense moisturizer cream and anything with vitamin E, any of, and I mean this, the vitamin E spray, by the way, is the best Fix Plus dupe in the world, and you can thank your baby girl later. Go and get it. The Vitamin E spray from Superdrugs, £1.99, and it is Fix Plus in a bottle, just with added vitamin E. That is £1.99, and Fix Plus is what, £22.50? Thank you you anyway so this is the intense moisturizer cream i am obsessed with it i love an intensive moisturizer just because i have normal dry skin and i feel like i really need to look after my skin so definitely 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 if you have normal dry skin i would suggest vitamin e although also anyone with oily skin you should be putting oils back into your skin so vitamin e can help anyone this is for normal dry skin but i do suggest that people with oily skin definitely put oils back into their skin so don't be worried about using intensive moisturizers or oils but i can't recommend what you should use because i don't know and i'm rubbish but for anyone with normal dry skin the vitamin e range is amazing super drug skincare range is incredible next we have boots and Hans, please don't judge me for what you see at the end of this video because I did spend a little bit of money. So in Superdrug, with everything to do with the MUA stuff, that was £76.78. However, in Boots, I spent £228.80. Please just know that I did actually use my Boots card points. They built up over a long time and I wanted to treat myself. So I went and bought some expensive skincare, which let's just not talk about. Let's just actually not talk about it. Let's go on to the first products from Boots. So your baby girl, I've got so many of these. I love them so, so, so much. I don't have so many. I just have quite a few of them. Anyway, so these are the NYX Suede Matte Lipsticks. Now these are matte. And your baby girl is saying she doesn't really like matte. However, they're matte and movable. Your baby girl doesn't like it when they're matte and you're like, and they just stick together and it's dry and it goes into all your cracks. These are matte and movable. So I can be like, thanks. They're matte, but they're a lipstick still. So they don't, they're not going to dry completely, but you have that matte sheen to it, which I love. So I got three. So I got them in Dainty Days, Rose the Day and Brunch Me. So let's swatch them and love our lives. And I will also tell you how much they were. So my little huns, they were four pounds each. No, they weren't. They were eight pounds each. I got savings on them because it was three for two. So they were eight, were they eight pounds? That's quite expensive. They were eight pounds. 
Okay, this one is Dainty Days, and Dainty Days is very soft. Again, it's a pinky, neutral, lovely nude. It dries matte, so the other two lipsticks I got from Superdrug, these are the matte versions, basically. I have specific colours that I really like, and I always have that go-to colour. So this one is definitely the lightest of the three. Then we have Rose the Day. Rose the Day... I would actually think would have more rosy peach undertones, but it doesn't. It definitely has a peachier undertone, but it has more of a brown undertone than the other one. I thought it would be more pinky, but it isn't that pinky. So I still like it. Don't worry about it. I'm not, you know, I'm not regretting it yet. And then we have Brunch Me. Now, Brunch Me is the brightest of the three. It's actually the lightest of the three as well, and it is the pinkest of the three. And I do actually really like that colour, especially as I've swatched it. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to wear it. I just feel like for me, the lightest colours just really sort of pale me out. Unless I have a tan and I put a really pale colour on my lips, then it looks okay. But I feel like when I put a pale colour on, I don't know which kind of lip line it's put within. I just feel like it just sinks into my face and it looks like I haven't got any lips. Love these three colours. I think they're beautiful. I can't wait to wear them. And again, they still have a sheen to them. They're not completely matte and they're going to be easy to manoeuvre. Manoeuvre. Love that word. I also love the word humongous. I love that word. What's your favourite word, actually? Can you let me know down below, like, what's your favourite long word? Because I just like saying things like trigonometry. There you go, that's another one. I'm so strange. Then, the next product I got, I'm so excited to use this, like, you have no idea. This is the Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Lightweight Protective Makeup from Maybelline SPF 50. What? What? And this is anti-pollution as well, my hands. So I got it in the number 128 Warm Nude, and this is perfect for my skin. I am Maybelline 220, normally in Fit Me. I am MAC NC30, NC25 to NC30. And when I have a tan, NC35. Full coverage. What? Anti-UV and protection. SPF 50. That is absolutely ludicrous to me. I actually can't wait to try this. Like, genuinely, that sounds insane. Because the thing is, so many companies aren't putting SPFs in their products. And Primark come along and they're like, it's £4 and it's got SPF 50 in it. And you're like, sorry, what? And then they're like, oh, it's got vitamin E in it too. Now Maybelline have come out with this foundation. I'm so excited because it says it's full coverage. And it does feel very lightweight. Like, for me, it doesn't feel like it's going to be full coverage. However, I look at my hands and I'm like, that looks full coverage. That's crazy because for me, I like a really thin foundation, but also I'm looking for coverage. Like I don't want to layer a lot of foundation on my skin, but then I also want full coverage. But now I've got anti-pollution and I've got, sorry, like SPF 50, sorry, what? Because the thing is in England, I don't know where everyone else is from, but hello to every hun everywhere else. But in the UK, we don't think that we need to protect against UV rays because there's never any sun out but we do actually have to protect against UV rays because it's still coming through the clouds and that's actually when it's worse for your skin. It's really damaging. It basically sinks the natural collagen in your skin so you're going to look older quicker. So UV protection is what we need and if we can get it in a foundation then we're buzzing because then we don't have to layer any more. And the Body Shop UV protection, the SPF from there, the SPF 50 is my favourite. However, it's quite expensive. So if I can have it in a foundation, I'm buzzing off that. How much was that one? So the foundation I think was eight, no, it was £10.99. £10.99, but if it has all of that in it and it does what it claims, then I will be using that foundation for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. I can't wait to try that one. Then, I really wanted the under eye patches, but they'd sold out completely. But this is from e.l.f. And this is the Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. There is a box actually for this, so I'd like to read on the box what it says it does. No parabens, no sulfates, no flatter tapes, I don't know, but a cream facial. This has amazing reviews. I think actually America has it, and I really wanted it for ages, but they only had it on the website, and I was like, oh, I'd like to actually like get it. I don't like ordering that much online from Boots and Superdrug. I like to actually go in and get some stuff. This really excites me. The level of hydration this, <laughs> this face cream feels like is an actual, like another level, another level. Like when I mean use the tiniest bit, you need the tiniest bit. I put it on my hand earlier and I was like, whoa, there fella. It would blend out because I put too much on. Like, that's how much hydration it has in it. You need the tiniest amount because, it, because it's intensive. It really is intensive. So I'm so excited. You get so much in a pot. And how much was that one? That one was £14. Was it? £14? Yeah, £14. You get so much in the pot. It's ludicrous. I can't wait to use it. Hyaluronic acid is amazing for everyone. Even when you're younger, like you want to be protecting your skin and you know, 
throughout your childhood, throughout your youth. Like, people think you just have to use face cream when you're like 40. You don't. You need to use it beforehand to look after your skin, and that's something I've really learned. I don't know what peptide complex does, though. Should we look it up? What peptide complex does? I'd like to know. I feel like otherwise I'm just being like, this is what it has. Internet's rubbish in this room. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Peptide is a long chain of amino acids, so they become protein. They are able to penetrate the top layer of our skin and send signals to our cells to let them know how to function. One important protein in our skin is collagen. Wow. Basically, it's meant to be a really good anti-age wrinkle cream. So thank you very much, Elf, for coming out with that. I definitely need to go back and get the under eye patches because you get three patches for like eight pounds, which is really good. Like three sets of them. And I reuse them. Yeah. Also, a really good thing is when you have under eye cream or any under eye patches, put them in the fridge. Because when you put them on, they're even colder and they make your eyes awake. Yes. Yeah next product. Then I got a lip liner with moisturiser all over it. That's what I do have. Then I got the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is a colour I've never tried before. It's called Cold Brew. I like a dark lip line. I just like that whole, is it 90s look? Probably not 90s, probably like 70s. But I really like a dark lip line and then like a lighter lip. I just do. So this is a dark lip line. This is a dark brown and I love it. It is definitely a cold brew colour like that, you know, what is it called? I don't know enough coffees because I only ever have lattes. What is it? A black Americano. That's what I feel like. This is a vibe. It really matches my jumpsuit at the moment but i really like the suede lip liners from nyx they're amazing this one was oh it's four pound but i got some saving on it so honestly their lip liners are amazing they're so creamy they're not drying they're amazing so if you invest in anything invest in some lip liners next product are these i am so excited because i didn't realize that these were here i thought these were just in america and i didn't realize we had these i know that they had the fit me powders but i've not seen these face studio powders so these are the maybelline face studio setting powders I really love finding cheaper face powders because your baby girl just doesn't want to be spending like 28 pounds on a on a face powder. Like Laura Mercier is amazing. Too Faced Born This Way is amazing. However, they are expensive. Like they genuinely are. And my go-to face powder is from Lottie London. Absolutely love it. It is like, yes, it's six pounds. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to look it up for my hands. Apparently it's £5.45. £5.45 for their powder. Like genuinely their powder is Laura Mercier and you can get so many different undertones. You can get like a pinkier undertone or you can get white translucent. Anyway, really excited to try these. So I got the setting and perfecting loose powders. This one that's the translucent colour is the white colour. It sets, mattifies, blurs and smooths. If it does all that, thank you very much. And then I got this one which is like a I would say it's like a apricot colour. No, it's not. It's a banana colour. Not an apricot colour. It's a banana colour. And it's meant to bake, brighten, set and mattifies. Wonderful. So this is the baking and brightening loose powder. And this one is the setting and perfecting loose powder. Really want to try these. Really, really want to try these. So let your baby girl know if you, again, want to do that drugstore testing makeup video. Because I've got a range of stuff that I can use on my face. And I can't wait to use it. So let me know. Then the next product is this. I love Pixi products. And this is amazing. Oh, did I tell you how much those powders were? I didn't. Those powders are £8.99. And this mist was 18 pounds now this is again on the higher end of things but i do really like pixie i love their pixie products and i didn't know they were stocked in boots like, why didn't i know that am i okay probably not this is the hydrating milky mist with hyaluronic acid your baby girl loves it and black oat oh youth preserving mist i love a hydrating mist so it says on the back feather light mist on moisturizer Oh, it's a mist and a moisturiser that provides a surge of hydration with hyaluronic acid to plump skin by trapping moisturiser. Like that word, plump. Ooh. Added black oat with pro vitamin A, linoleic acid and vitamins B1, B2 and B6 make it the ultimate remedy for thirsty skin. You can use it before makeup, moisturising and prepping the skin, nighttime, the first layer of moisture or anytime for a burst of hydration. Love that. I'm going to use it now. I'm going to use it now. I mean, I'd like to use it before my makeup and I'd also <clears throat> not like to get it. Is that a loud bite? Can you hear it? I do feel like it's giving me a little bit of a glow. Ooh. Ooh. I love, uh, my skin feels really light. My skin feels really hydrated. Really strange. Love it. Anyway, I really do like hydrating mist just because I feel like when you're prepping your face and you're putting a lot of powders on, a hydrating mist just 
brings your face back to life. Also, when I'm doing skincare, before I do any makeup, because prep is key, I love to really give my face a lot of hydration. So really excited to use that, especially before makeup. Then we're going to skincare now. I got this and it's amazing. I've used it and it's unreal. This is the Garnier Soothing Lavandin Smooth and Glow Facial Oil. This is the box. So it's grown in France, vegan formula, all skin types, even sensitive. When I tell you, Hans, that this facial oil has the nicest smell in the world, you feel like you're in a spa. It smells of lavender, but it also smells of just like pure happiness. <laughs> I'm actually being honest, like lavender makes me so happy. I actually have lavender essential oils that I put in like a diffuser. I also take it when I'm getting a bit nervous and have it on a tissue. I just love lavender. I've loved lavender ever since I was young. Like my mum used to get little bags to put in like my underwear drawer and stuff like that. So this is extracted through steam distillation. Wow. It's enriched with antioxidant vitamin E, you know, I keep winking, it's so cringe. Organic argan oil. Skin feels nourished and softer instantly. In one week, skin felt suppler for 87% of women. And in one week, skin quality improved for 76% of women. I'm all about it. Give me youth. Use this luxurious non-greasy oil in the morning and or evening. You can apply it alone, apply a few drops on the clean face, neck or here or you can mix it with a face cream, or you can mix it with, you know, foundations if you've got a drying foundation. I am really excited by this product. They've got a lot of different products within this range and it seems amazing. I'd like to use the toner I think they have, but I'm really excited because it smells unreal and I've felt my skin really feel nourished at night when I use it. That one was £11.99 and again, that is quite expensive for an oil. However, I do really believe in oils. The vitamin E one obviously is amazing and it's so much cheaper. However, lavender just makes my skin feel so happy and the smell going to bed at night I'm like thank you very much and honestly I have really noticed a difference with my skin I do have dry skin and it sort of soaks up oils but this one is amazing I even put it over my lips it's really nourishing as well now we're gonna go on to the expensive stuff and I really really hope that you don't judge me I know that you won't because you're all angels but you have to understand that I had a lot of points built up on my boots card and my advantage card and I wanted to take advantage of those points and you know I've been doing a lot of I've been doing a lot of hauls for YouTube and I spent quite a lot of money on those hauls so I have definitely built up advantage card points so i got three products from ole hendrickson hendrickson ole hendrickson so oh my goodness i'm like worried to say this because they are expensive and i'm like not that girl but i really am mrs drugstore like i love the drugstore i love affordable makeup i love affordable skincare i'm all about it i really don't think you need to spend a lot of money however i've been seeing everyone use these things and i got three products i got the ola henriksen truth serum and huns this was expensive this one was 59 pounds 59 pounds I'm gonna be a bit sick, let's not talk about it, it's making me feel a bit faint. This is the Collagen Boosted with True C Complex. Now, it was three for two, so I did get some savings on this. No, I didn't, no, I didn't. Didn't get any savings, wonderful. This has actually won awards, apparently it's meant to be amazing. So, it basically provides brightening, anti-aging, and all-day hydration for all skin types. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when I put this on my skin, honestly, I'm not just saying this, I do get instant hydration which lasts all day like yesterday i wore this just on my skin with the eye cream and my fiance pups was like oh my goodness like your face looks so glowy what have you got on it and i was like skincare like no makeup skincare and i didn't wear any concealer normally i'd wear like moisturizer but then i'd also put a concealer under my under eye well then i used this which was the banana bright eye cream and if you can invest in anything it's this this one was 30 pounds Please don't invest in it if you don't have the money. But I'm telling you, this is unreal. It has this yellow tint to it, which acts like a concealer. I can't explain it. When I put this under my under eyes, it instantly brightens my face. Actually, if you have dark circles, it's like out. Like you don't need any under eye brightening corrector when you've got this. Genuinely, it's unreal. So it's vitamin C and collagen boosted. It's the exact same basic, basically. I literally just pat it under my under eyes and then put it on the top of my lid as well. It's meant to reduce the look of dark circles, firms and instantly targets fine lines and wrinkles whilst improving concealer wear. Inspired by a makeup artist must have Bernada, Bernada powder, soft focus powders and pigment blurs, brightens and corrects for an instant Olay glow. And when I mean this, I'm not just saying this, when I put my concealer on top of this, my concealer doesn't crease. My concealer genuinely doesn't crease. It goes on so soft once this once this is dried and I put my concealer on, I'm like, 
my under eye looks so smooth at the moment and I'm like wow and then the last product I got which was 28 pounds is the banana bright face powder so it's vitamin c and banana powder inspired pigments and honestly wow wow it's the exact same as this i would say i don't think you need this i'm gonna be honest i don't think you really need this the truth serum i don't think you need it it's 59 pounds you don't need it these two i will be re reusing rebuying repurchasing loving my life genuinely so this is the makeup primer it can be worn alone yes it can under makeup or dabbed on top of makeup as a highlight. It is insane. Like the level of pigment on this yellowy tinged thing is just divine. So again, inspired by the art makeup artist must have banana powder. The luminizing makeup primer contains vitamin C, brightening pigments and soft focus powders to instantly illuminate the entire complexion and blur the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Creates a hydrated radiant canvas for the Olay glow that lasts and lasts. Genuinely, I would wear this on its own. Both of these products are insane. Like, genuinely. I know they're expensive. Please don't judge me. I've saved up for a long time to buy them. Didn't need this. Gutted about the, the fact I've spent money on it. It is probably really good for my skin. However, I don't notice that much of a difference for £59. These two are genuinely must-haves for me now and will be must-haves for a long, long time. So, angels, that is the finished video. I'm so excited that you joined me here today. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video. If you want me to do a drugstore testing makeup video, then definitely give this video a massive thumbs up and let me know down in the comments section. Also, if you want me to do the MUA testing video, your baby girl has a lot of products. Like, a new foundation as well, the Longwear Matte Finish Foundation. There's so many different things I got. I'm so excited. So definitely let me know if you want me to do those. And thank you so much for joining me. I have got to clear up all these boxes now. I'm like, just, what is this? Just... Just what is this? What is this? Anyway, thank you so much again. I love you all so much. Until next time, until Tuesday, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. I love you so much. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me.